Taran tan tan taran tan tan tan. Natural Science Class with Teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about electricity. Electricity is a form of energy that we use to give power to electronic devices and machines. We can generate electricity in power stations, but it also exists in nature. Electrical charges. All matter is made up of particles called atoms. Those are representation of the atoms. Atoms are composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons have a positive charge and they are in the nucleus of the atom. This nucleus is formed with the neutrons. Neutrons have neutral charge, not positive, neither negative, and both they form the nucleus. And electrons, they have a negative charge and they go around the nucleus. For example, in this atom on the left, we have protons with positive charge and neutrons with neutral charge, not positive nor negative. They form the nucleus of the atom and then we have electrons with negative charge going around this nucleus. Let's move on now to transferring electrons. We can change the electrical charge of an object by adding or removing electrons. For example, rubbing a plastic material against gold or hair, some electrons are transferred to the plastic material. If we rub this balloon against our hair, some electrons from our hair will go to the balloon, so the balloon will have an electrical charge negative, a negative electrical charge with the electrons that have been transferred to it. If we have a look at the electrical charges, objects with opposite electrical charges are attracted. Like these two objects, one has negative electrical charge and the other has positive electrical charge and they get attracted to each other. And objects with identical electrical charges are repelled, like to negatives or to positives. This is similar than magnets. Let's move on now to the forms of electricity. The first one is static electricity. It does not flow. It happens when an object gets negative electrical charge. For example, when you rub a balloon against your clothes and it sticks to them. Another example is a lightning. Is also a form of static electricity. Also, when you touch something or someone and you feel the electricity, that's because of the static electricity. That object, for example, this tray has negative electrical charge and when you touch it, some electrons go to your hand or your body and you, you can feel that electricity. 
and the other one is the electrical current this is the electricity that we usually use for our machines and devices it is formed when electrons flow through a conductor such as copper aluminium and water for example in these wires and these conductors are usually covered by electrical insulators so it is not dangerous for us such as plastic or rubber and last electrical circuits an electrical circuit is a closed path where electrons flow for example in this small electrical circuit is a closed path electrons can go all over the circuit when a circuit is open like here on the right is open the current cannot pass electrical circuits have four basic components a power source to provide energy such as a battery a conductor to allow electricity to pass such as copper wire a switch to open and close the circuit a load to convert electricity in another type of energy such as a light bulb on this example we have the power source the conductor is the wire where the current flows we have here the switch to open and close the circuit and the load is represented with this X to convert electricity in light energy for example that is the representation of an electrical circuit if we go to this image we have the same we have here the power source the battery for example then we have the wire which is the conductor we have here a switch to go on and off with the circuit and open and close it and this is the load this is where we convert electricity into light energy or heat energy for example okay so in summary we need to know that electricity is a form of energy also that all matter is made up of atoms and these atoms are composed of protons with positive electrical charge neutrons with don't have positive or negative charge so they have a neutral charge and electrons that have negative electrical charge and these two the protons and neutrons they form the nucleus of the atom also we know that we can transfer electrons if we rub two objects together we can transfer electrons from one object to another one if we have a look at the electrical charges we know 
that opposite poles attract each other. So if we have a positive electrical charge and a negative one, they will attract each other. And if we have two positive charges or two negative charges, they will repel each other. Oh, and sorry, we are missing a U here, neutrons. If we go now to the forms of electricity, we have static, which does not flow, and electrical current, which electrons flow through a conductor. And last, on the electrical circuits, we need to identify the four parts. On a diagram, this will be the load, for example, a light bulb. These lines are the conductor. It's usually made up of copper and around it, it has some electrical insulator. This is the power source such as a battery, for example. And last, we need the switch to open and close the circuit. So when we open the circuit, like this one, the load is off. The light bulb or the other electrical device is off and if we close the circuit with the switch, then the load is on. That was all for this video. I hope you liked it and see you in the next one. Bye all.